Hello, welcome to House Kitchen. I'm your host, Kenneth Baines. And when you have a party, you don't want to forget a nice bowl of guacamole. And seeing that Cinco de Mayo is around the corner, this is a perfect time for this dish. And cooking that perfect dish with us today, we have Nye Lopez. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me, Kenneth. It's a pleasure to be in the Hawks Kitchen right now. Okay. Well, this is exciting. I'm so happy to be here. Yes, like he was saying, Cinco de Mayo is right around the corner. So I brought five simple ingredients to bring a bold flavor to the table. And it's just these five? Just these five, all under $10 in the grocery store. So I definitely recommend making something homemade versus store bought. So okay. just to dive right in, let's talk about our ingredients. Okay. So you're going to start with some tomatoes. And then we have some red onion, some lime, some avocados. Okay some special but bold and important ingredients, salt and cilantro. Oh. Alrighty, so to start, I'm going to let you take this tomato and we have to dice that one up. Oh, I'm excited to do this. All right, okay, so okay. please be careful. Yes, I recommend holding the stem just so it's like something you can have a grip to. Okay. Turn it sideways and just begin to dice the best you know. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Awesome. Where'd you learn how to slice and dice? I used to cook at Waffle House. Okay, so and perfect. You have some part. kitchen experience? Yes, man. Nice. There we go. I'll take this, get it off our, out of our way. Perfect. So after you're, well, while you're doing that, keep in mind keeping them bunched together so it's easier to dice. Exactly. You've got it. Okay. You don't want nothing too chunky because it's gonna mess up the consistency of the guacamole and that's not what we want. We do want some chunkiness, but nothing where it's like too much flavor of tomato. Okay. We don't taste the other things. So right, right, right. you're killing it right now. We hope you guys are remaining safe, taking your time because it is a sharp blade. And just okay. like that, we have our tomato ready. So let's go ahead and dump this into our dish. Okay. Careful. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, we're gonna put this alongside with you. Okay. So, you guys might already notice we have a red onion chopped, but you're gonna only want to do half of the red onion because it is a bold flavor and it might be too much if you put too much. So, remember, just half the red onion, have that ready. So we have that prepped. Okay. Next, let's move to the lime. All right. So you're gonna just grab one lime. That's gonna be the yield for this ingre uh, this recipe. Cut it in half. Okay. Perfect. And now I want you to, with the tip of the blade, make an X inside the lime. So when we squeeze it, perfect. So when we squeeze it, it will have a better just flow of juice coming out. It's not being too forced and there won't be too much pulp inside of our dish once it's done. So perfect. We're just going to go ahead and place that one back in here. I just we'll come right back new. to it. I right? Learned something new. That was new. That was a new one? <laughs> Perfect. So I want to show you how to do the avocado, and you're going to do the next two. Okay. So this is the core, the base of the guacamole. Sorry, I'm like flinging this knife around. But yeah, this is what's the most important, important part. Um, don't get nothing too mushy, but nothing too hard either. The ripeness of the avocado is what's really important as well. So we have a nice green avocado right here. We're gonna wanna take out our core first. I usually go for like the end of the blade. Oh, boom. Right up. Okay. <laughs> Just like that, popped right out. And then once that core is out, you're gonna wanna take it, tip of the blade, be careful. You don't wanna slice through the skin. And you're gonna make some slices like that. Oh, wow. Do you eat avocados? Avocados often? Yeah, I pretty much love I love the when they put it on a toast. Yes, I love avocado toast too. Yeah, maybe that can be the next recipe we make in Hawk's Kitchen. Yeah, I'll be excited to try that one. All right, so after I made some vertical lines, I'm gonna just go down and make some horizontal. And all this do what? What, what do you mean? Like it make it easier to come out? Like when you um, Just easier to mix at the end. Okay. So that's why we're doing that. So I just showed you guys how to slice up that one avocado. Come on, Kenneth. Oh, I have full is. faith in you. There you go. Be careful with your fingers. To me, it's easier if you hold it exactly and just follow the nut in the middle. Okay. I'll bring you right around. Perfect. Now, yeah. Remember, pop that blade in there. 
Okay, that works. It's out. <laughs> it's out. And then this part, you do the. Yes. The slicing. Perfect. You don't want to put too much pressure because if you slice through the skin, it's gonna make it difficult to scoop out at the end. Okay. Okay. All right. What you're saying. Guys, we are making great progress. Everything's looking great. The colors are looking vibrant. That's exactly what you want at a fiesta on Cinco de Mayo. So, and not only is this a Cinco de Mayo fiesta party dish, this could be a party favorite to almost any event or just a nice snack to have during summertime with your choice of a side. So, throw it in some tacos also. It could just it could just be very versatile. So go. now we have one more avocado. Oh, one, more? Okay. one more avocado. Okay. I'll move these ones to the side for you. So what got you into cooking? What got me in the cooking? Honestly, I always watched my mom cook, but I never really took notes. So I moved out and it was one of those things where I had to just learn. So, um, and also I used to work at a Mexican restaurant. So okay. it kind of gave me some basics, I would call them, um, on just how to like compare and just connect good flavors or just make good recipes. So what about you? How long have you been cooking? What got uh -huh. you into it? Just saying, I wanted to eat what I wanted to eat, so I just mm -hmm. like, let me try it. See if I like it. Yeah. I don't know what they be putting in there, so let me try to put something in there. So at a Cinco de Mayo party, what are you going to first? I'm going to the- Food-wise. Uh, I'm going to me, I'm going to the nachos. The nachos, yes. Looking. All right. Okay, so we're gonna just take these out. Now it's gonna get a little messy, you guys, but totally worth the mess. We have a lot of napkins over here, so if we need any, we'll just grab. Okay. So. We're gonna grab our spoon. Perfect. Grab that spoon. All right. So I'll do the first one. The spoon's a little large. If you have a smaller one, it might be more mm, uh, easy to scoop it out. But we're gonna work with what we got. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna just go in there. Honestly, this might be like a perfect fit. And I'm gonna scoop. Oh, and wow. instead of throwing this on the cutting board, I'm gonna throw it back in our clear dish. Oh, so that's like a shell. Yes, exactly. I'll do one more, and then, Kenneth, you're going to take over, Mr. Host. Okay. Because we need our audience to see the both of us just tag-teaming this amazing dish. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty right. excited. It's pretty fun right here. Yeah. yeah, again, it is a little messy, but it's totally worth it. The flavors are going to be phenomenal towards the end. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah, don't worry about getting messy. This is the messiest part, so just get in there. Kenneth, have you ever had guacamole before? Mm, yes, at Taco Bell. And mm. I kinda didn't it wasn't. But my that's bad. not that's not the real guacamole. That's some processed guacamole. Yeah, this look pretty. Have you had it. some real guacamole? Not really. Well, first for everything, you guys. So can't wait to see your reaction once you get a bite of this. I can't wait to try this, because this actually look good. This guacamole good. look delicious. Nice. All right. So, Kenneth, please throw away these shells the for shells? me. Okay, I got and you. And then, because, yeah, I already washed, well, cleaned up my hands. There's a bag under here. Okay. All righty, you guys. We are moving on along. The last thing we need to chop and prep for the guacamole is going to be the cilantro. So, this is honestly the hardest part, too, just because you want to try to dice it as fine as you can. Um, do you want to do this or you want me to take over? I can do it. You want yeah, me to chop so it up? Yeah, so pretty much it's easy to hold it in a bunch and just chop, chop it up. as much yeah. as you can. Rotate it, chop again as much as you can. Perfect. You don't want to go too fast. Please be careful. Watch the fingers, you guys. We don't want any little thingies in our guacamole. At all. Right. These Kenneth is killing it though right now. I would say chop it up a little more. But this is exactly how you would want to do it, just taking your time and just cutting it finer than when you first got it out of the bag in the grocery store. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, toss it around one more time and cut away. There we go. Right now, I can literally just smell the fresh cilantro coming off the cutting board. It's just so refreshing. You guys delicious. are going to love it. This is an experience. It's an air freshener smell. Yeah, <laughs> air freshener. Okay. All right, so now that we chopped up our cilantro, let's try to take take a little off of the knife because, you know, every little bit counts. So, yeah, just use your finger. We're cool. We cleaned hands. We're good. All right, so after that. Put it back in that bowl. Yes, put it back in that bowl. Perfect. 
Perfect. I got you. I'll help you out. All right. Honestly, that's all we need from this cutting board, you guys. So I'm just going to move it onto the side, get it out of our way. Okay. Ken's cleaning up his hands, and now it's time for the fun part. All right, big bowl coming to us. And we just mix all this together. We're going to put everything together. So, you're going to grab a larger bowl so it's easier to just mix everything and just, you see everything just, just come together. So, for this, it matters, at least to me, the layering. So, you always want to put your base, which is our avocado. Yeah, that was my next question. Do you use it a certain order? You yeah, put it in. I just like to follow a certain order because okay. it just feels like it blends better. So, yeah. And then put our tomatoes in. Don't be afraid of the little tomato juice. That's just even more flavor. So, and then we're going to add our onion. Again, this might be a little more than half that we cut up. So, we're just going to get a good amount. If anything, that's always good to add. You can't take out. Okay. So, that's what we're going to stick with. Lastly, well, oh, second to last, we're going to add some cilantro. I like to leave a little in the bowl. You'll see why at the end. And then sprinkle some salt. I like oh, to do sorry. a nice even layer at the top. Okay. There's going to be extra. There's a reason for that. So get a nice layer going at the top. Ooh, might have been a little too much, but hey, that is okay. And lastly, want you to take over on this one, Kenneth. Please add Lime. some okay. limes. Just, I put it right there and squeeze. Full hand squeeze. Get it all out. Here, let me help you. I'll get one in there. These are some tough ones. Yeah, these are yeah. <laughs> ready. Yeah, it's okay. It's going to get the flavors that we need. Are you more of a lime or a lemon person? Well, I say lemon. Lemon? Oh, I love lime in my water. It's like, switches up the whole flavor yeah. palette okay is there any more in there you think you could squeeze mm, more lime the better in my opinion i'd probably go agree with that one mm -hmm. lime is very delicious all right just one more big palm squeeze okay we'll leave this to the side if we can get more out of there we will and then of course if you got a, if you got more you can put more in. of course if you want to this is going to serve about like two to four people depending okay. on how you know heavily you want to make or eat guacamole, but if you want to increase the yield, just double it. It can definitely feed up to eight people at this point. But yeah, time for the fun part. So okay. I'll start. You're gonna wanna start by folding in the ingredients. Folding it in, you just wanna gain all the flavors from top to bottom. And then once you get a good color going, all around, then you're gonna to wanna to start to slightly press down. You wanna mush the avocado and get that going. You should hear a nice, like thick, moist sound going on. That's how you know there's enough lime juice in there. Yeah, that look, that look pretty good, that look pretty good. Take right over, there. take over. That's, that look real good. Perfect. Alrighty, so while Kenneth is doing that, you guys, don't forget, clean up as you go it's always it's always better that way i hate having a kitchen that's just a little bit of a mess so we try doing the best we can i hope you guys are trying that too um this is coming to a great consistency i hope you guys can see that right here so yeah kenneth is he is whipping it there we go that's looking great so the last and final touch push it all together I'll, all right. I'll just, i like to put it again close in the bowl okay and then get all the extras off. We're so close to being done, you guys. We're gonna do, I'll let you take a sprinkle of salt, sprinkle it on top. Okay, I wanna feel like the dude with the glasses on. I don't yeah, know his name. Um, maybe not that much, but that is great. Perfect. And now scoop out some cilantro just so it looks refreshing at the top. Perfect, that's perfect. Okay. All right, and here's our guacamole. Oh, wow, that looks so It delicious. looks so refreshing. It just looks amazing, vibrant. The flavors are going to be so bold. I say we bring it out on a nice, beautiful dish and try it out. I can't wait to try this. Okay, let's do it. Okay. I'm going to just put a fresh scoop on top so it looks more vibrant. All right. So now this is the... 
the best part to try. That's like the tasting. Put this. All right, that'll be fine just like that. All right, you guys. So here we go. Some fresh guacamole. This would be a perfect way to bring it in to the party. You guys, it's going to have all the colors. It's going to be on a nice, beautiful dish. And people are just going to instantly want to, as soon as you walk in, Go up to your plate, grab it, scoop it, and go. You know, they're not even going to want to talk to you. They're just going to try your guacamole, you tell go. you, like, okay, good job, with the little head nod, and keep it moving. So definitely make sure you bring this to your next fiesta. You want to go ahead and try some with me? So what you prefer, the, the, the carrots or the, or the... Honestly, we got lime chips this time, so it probably tastes try really it. good with the, lime with the chip. chips. But, I mean, I'm down to do both. Okay. Okay. Here we go, y'all. Try Here this out. I'm going to get me some small... So, get a nice, healthy scoop right there. All right, cheers. Okay. Uh, right. <laughs> yeah? So good. That's pretty good. Really good. Yeah, I like that. That's real good. The chips that are amazing, is, oh too. God. I definitely recommend this to everybody. Wow. Oh, my God. Flavors are exploding in your mouth, right? Just bold? It was worth it. Oh, good. my God. Mm. Nice, nice. Thank you, Kenneth. You want to try one with the carrot? Yeah, let me let me let me get that a try. Mmm, crunchy carrot. No, no, that was delicious. I can't wait to go on and try this with my kids. Aw. Perfect. Well, I'm glad I can bring some flavors and some fun to the kitchen for you tonight, Kenneth. Thank thank you for joining us, because this was this was wonderful. Thank you for joining us. Thank you so much. It was Thank it was you. awesome to be here, and I hope you guys just have an amazing Cinco de Mayo. I hope you try this out at a kitchen near you. And, yeah, just come back and tune in to Hawk's Kitchen. I'm your host, Kenneth Bangs with Hawk's Kitchen. You have a good day.